We Love Facts presents the 10 most embarrassing fashion trends ever. Saggy Pants This popular trend of sagging pants began as a style in prison and made its way into pop culture through a number of young hip-hop artists. Moreover, the look was soon adopted by youth, including many gangs. In some places, including towns in New Jersey and Florida, local politicians passed laws prohibiting young men from wearing low-hanging pants in public places. Although the look has received criticism by some, it's considered one of the iconic fashion trends in the history of American youth. I suggest we just teach them how to use a belt. What do you think? Whale Tail It was the early 2000s and everything was different. People burned CDs, j Rule was famous, and low-rise jeans were a thing. Thongs were, too. The combination created a phenomenon known as Whale Tails. Whale Tails were everywhere. The trend soon became part of daily life in cities, suburbs, and even in some rural areas. Yeah, farmers. The trend of wearing whale tail revealing jeans started to dissipate somewhat in the mid-2000s when American clothing designers started shifting focus from low-slung jeans to high-waisted trousers. Ah, here's an all-time favorite, fanny packs. These waist pouches have always been synonymous with unstylish tourists. Although they can be functional, fanny packs are really never a good look and almost a guarantee of ridicule. Leggings Leggings have been worn for many centuries by both men and women. Recent times have, however, seen them remain fashion attire for just ladies and no longer men. Though some wear them to look fashionable, they also help protect the skin by keeping it warm. However, the biggest issue is the near-transparent nature of leggings, especially in occasions when people use them as an alternative for pants. I'm still having a hard time trying to figure out if I've ever seen a man wearing leggings before, and if I had, it probably made me sick. Drop Crotch Pants You either love them or you hate them. Drop crotch pants are like the ugly, awkward cousin to the harem pants. It just looks like you couldn't find the bathroom in time. One of my personal favorites, the mullet haircut. In the 60s and 70s, the mullet slowly grew into popularity, but it wasn't until the 1980s when I was wearing one and that the mullet became mainstream. The origin of this 1980s mullet craze came from the southern U.S. states, spreading rapidly through the rest of the U.S. and across into Europe and South America. During this time, the mullet was the staple haircut for footballers, pop stars, TV stars, and, believe it or not, I think, hockey players. Unlike today, where if you have a mullet, your chances of getting a decent job are pretty slim, it was actually seen then as a good thing to have a mullet when applying for jobs. Krakow Despite their bizarre and funny appearance, Krakows were quite a trend in the Middle Ages, especially in Poland, England, and other European regions. These are shoe tips that were extremely long and pointy. The physical evidence shows that the length of the shoe sole was usually more than 50% of the length of the foot. They had whalebone or strings at the end that were tied to the knees to enable walking. The shoes were not very practical, no kidding, and soon phased out. Shoulder pads. Though they were the epitome of chic in the 1980s, shoulder pads are pretty much unanimously considered a fashion mistake nowadays. The idea was to extend the shoulder line and give the wearer an illusion of having broader and less sloping shoulders. Although Lady Gaga did lead a brief comeback in the trend with her bizarre costumes, it's hard to believe anybody was ever taken seriously with these sewn-in eyesores. The crinoline The crinoline is a hoop skirt that women in the 19th century wore under their actual skirts. It was made from horsehair and thread, or steel, and the whole purpose of the huge apparatus was to make the skirt look more, well, you know, skirt-like. The steel version was actually so deadly, it's amazing this thing was ever worn at all. Because of its design, it was quite susceptible to gusts of wind. There are tales of women on piers that were swept up and carried out to sea, where they promptly drowned due to having a steel cage tied to their waists. It was also a bad idea to hang around cliffs or tall buildings in this sort of contraption. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and leave us a comment below. To stay up to date with the most amazing videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned, a new video is coming out soon.